stuff. I have not in my back home. Oh, I know the problem. Watch out. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. God, what's going on? There's one cord that still needs to be fucking plugged in. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Especially guess. Potential Problems Podcast. It's rated R. Boom. Hello. Hey there. Hello. Hello, folks. And good Saturday to you. Good Saturday. How there? How are you guys doing out there? All you folks out there. This is a Potential Problems Podcast, episode 117. 18. 118. 118. Next time. Cranked out. I would 118 of these fuckers. Sorry. <laughs> confusion. You guys got it there? You guys going good? Fucking hard. Mass confusion as we start the show. How are you guys doing? How are you guys out there in podcasting land? You guys awake? Are you guys ready to take on this Saturday? No. No? Are no. you awake? Ellen? I woke up like two hours ago. Yeah, you were. Uh, I was over here at like uh, one last night. Yeah. And that is the latest I think I've ever seen you stay up yeah. early. I'm, I, I like to go to bed early. You, Yes, <laughs> you do. But last night uh, you were up to what time did you – because what was that movie you were watching? Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. You say it like it's right. a new thing. Yeah, well, I know. I saw that movie. What would yeah. you think? I, I thought it was all right with, with the British people and whatnot. Yes, the British people and whatnot. <laughs> How, yeah, I like Hot Fuzz, man. That's a good one. Point Break of Bad Boys 2. <laughs> you ain't never seen Bad Boys 2. <laughs> uh, that is, of course, uh, the voice of our guests uh, that we're welcoming, wel- welcoming you're, today. You're welcoming them. You're welcoming them. I'm welcoming them. Lord, we're, we're, we are Lawrence welcoming them. <laughs> anyway, uh, th- yeah, I'm John Coyar. That's Alan Clark. Uh, he's distracted right now. But uh, our guests today are uh, Andrew Harms. Andrew, how's it going? How's it going? I asked you first. How how's it going, man? Man, you don't want to know about me. You don't want to know. Great. Oh. How are you? I'm all right. What are you up to today? What did you do before the podcast? I went to work. You went to work? Uh huh. You work Saturdays? Sometimes. What do you work at, Andrew? I, I draw blood. Oh, so. on paper. Yeah. yeah. Is that how do you draw? Like how do you? Yeah. That's like s- splatter patterns or? Yeah. Well, I, I put a needle in people and I get their blood out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that fun? Is it consensual? Is, uh, it's uh, if it's uh, not. Sometimes kids don't want it, but if an adult comes in, it's it's consensual. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh? Do you are you good at drawing blood? You, I'm all right. You've been doing it for a while, right? Yeah, I'm all right. I mean, I've gotten better. I'm not a great. I mean, actually, I am great. Yeah. Are you good with kids? Like like drawing blood on kids? Although kids can be difficult, you know, yes. because they. Uh, they don't tend to like needles. Yeah, they don't like needles, and there's all this pressure put on you because you like everyone's holding their arm, you know, making sure they don't move. So you have to do these. You kind of have to hurt, you know. They they have these small veins, and uh, they're just sitting there screaming and and just like you know, it's like come on, do it. Do you ever put a pillow over their head until they stop screaming? <laughs> Yeah, th- that that doesn't work. <laughs> that I doesn't find, work. You know, yeah. their parents usually protest a little bit about that. Yeah, and then you you turn in the blood, and it's like, well, the the child's dead. That's the problem. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks for coming in, pal. You're welcome. Thank you thanks for, for uh, being part me. of our podcast. Uh, to the left of you, go ahead and introduce the next comic to the left of you, Andrew. This is Smitty. What it do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it's a little bit long-winded, but okay. Hey. What are you taking your lessons from Kevin Baca now, huh, Andrew? <laughs> was that? No, because I, I like it short and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Smitty? It's going all right, man. How everything been? All right, all right. All right no work so. today for you, huh? Nah, I had the day off. You know what I mean? Got to see my son play soccer for the first time. Well, not the first time, but this this year. So he punched some girl. Nah, nah. <laughs> uh, soccer. Oh no, no. Okay, that's, that's, that's right in the sport, chest. Right? Okay. Nah, Why you got to yeah. steal the Mexican sport now, huh? <laughs> Come on, it's kinda, leave that for the hey, Mexicans. Hey, you know we got to integrate and, uh, and whatnot. <laughs> that's what they. Where do you work? So they tell us where do I work at? <laughs> yeah, Home Depot. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing uh, tool rental, I guess. I guess I can say that. Are people cool there? People yeah, man. Working? Yeah, everybody that worked there is fucking. It's actually not a bad company to work for. You know what I'm saying? They got pretty good benefits and shit. But do you, do you ride around uh, on that those, those things with wheels? <laughs> um, shopping carts. <laughs> um, 
cars? Nah. Uh, forklifts? So yeah, the thing, the big things with wheels that carry <laughs> everything. I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> Tim Allen. Okay, For those, <laughs> those, those big things. This that isn't wheels, tool time. Yeah. That carry that nah, carry a bunch of forklifts. stuff. Forklifts? Nah, I don't do I that. Yeah. I uh, I, I I rent out equipment like so if I need a nail and and fuck now nah, you have to buy that but if you I need a nail I, gun I can't you rent, can rent a nail that. nah not <laughs> like one I, nail I just need a door to be up for a little while you know? <laughs> is there a minimum amount of nails you have to rent before it's okay you can't rent nails you have to buy <laughs> <laughs> like they won't do a bulk thing like if no. you rent a hundred nails we'll you let you do to, it you have to you can you rent the nail two, gun well. but you have to buy the nails <laughs> that's bullshit it's like you can rent a, a floor sander but you have to buy the actual sanding disc you know what I mean? And you have to have a floor to sand it with. Yeah, too. that's also true. Can you rent paint? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, the, the, the color of my house is, I'm not happy with You're not it. Happy with it. You only want it like that for like uh, three to four hours? Yeah. You want to paint your house depending on your mood? Yeah, yeah. it's a mood okay. house. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds like uh don't Bill ain't Bill Gates' house like that? Like I heard like you walk into some, some of his rooms and the, the, the color will change depending on your mood, like at his house. Is it I don't always know if that's jealous? True. <laughs> it's always green. Oh, of Steve green Jobs. With FBI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, but, but, uh, yeah, when, on that job, on that job, because it's tool rental and like equipment rental. Yeah. Come on, man. There's got to be a lot of brown people that come through. Oh a lot yeah. Of Mexicans. Yeah. Come all through, the time, man. All the time. Doing their own it's, shit. Uh, right? It's uh, but they 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 cool as fuck, man. But they them motherfuckers have so much money. It make no sense, dude. Like they come in there and they rent crap for like they rented our. Uh, we have a 50 foot boom lift you know what I'm saying and they rented that jump for like a month and a half it ended up causing them like almost like three four grand man just to keep that jump for that long it was re- and they well, the dude paid it like it was nothing you know what I'm saying what do you think they were was it like uh, something you might use in framing or uh, it, nah I maybe it was a were, community project I think they were using it to, I don't know if he was driving that mug around chopping trees oh. or, I mean it's a 50 foot boom so you gotta be reaching yeah. for something high you know what I mean so I, I have no idea what they were doing with it but we didn't ask we don't ask questions like long as you 21 and you got a license we'll rent you whatever the hell you don't need yeah. no we'll rent you a chainsaw that's why I'm pretty sure people have chopped up bodies with some of the shit that they, we rent they out, they bring it back and it's covered. Yeah, in I hair. mean, they have they clean it off. That's why we charge them a cleaning fee. Like if I had to clean up the hair and blood off the chainsaw at the end of the day, <laughs> at least you're gonna pay for it. You know what I mean? So this is unacceptable. Sir. Yeah, this is you know what I mean. Like it's pizza, her brain still left in here. Um, yeah. That's twenty five dollars. I think if anybody ever rents like a wood chipper, you need to like have some instructions with it, like so you don't have that scene from Fargo where he's <laughs> trying to reach in there and shove the yeah, leg down. Yeah. We do. You gotta. We you gotta be able to. Chippers. That guy. He just. He need, He just needed the proper instructions. He was trying yeah. to chip chip wood, and it just got out of hand. Yeah, he was sticking his arm in there like a dummy. We yeah. do rent like wood a chippers. dummy. But you know what are you Hi. gonna do? How's it going, choir? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, John had a bit of a transformation. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Should I introduce him since? Yes, he since we're doing me? it that way. All right, uh, get your headphones on there, brother. I seen this guy yesterday coming to the mic. <laughs> nah, um, that's Brian Brian Vanderhoof. Is that done? Am I saying it right? That's Is correct. That? All right, what's going on, Brian? Man, not much. What's happening, Smitty? Not much, man. I saw you yesterday at a uh, Best Buy and shit. Just had got your fresh haircut. And you was, I don't know why you were in Best Buy after a fresh cut. Like, that's what you do when you get a fresh haircut. You go to Best Buy and show off to the... That's where all the hot chicks to are. To the bitches. Yeah. <laughs> the tech bitches. <laughs> it's like, my hair is cut, now I want to buy a fucking camera, bitch. Like, yeah, no, you yeah, say my hair is cut, and that's not the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, what's going on, though, man? Talk or something? Not much. I, I don't, it's been a while since you've been here. It, it has, and I, I didn't want to jump in the middle of a conversation. Well, yeah, feel free to acclimate. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. It's okay. We're talking about renting shit from Home Depot. That's right. You can't rent paint or nails, though. You can't no. rent expendable shit. You can't get your shit. nails painted, though. <laughs> you can't rent <laughs> expendable shit. Yeah. Oh. At Home Depot, they paint nails? Yeah, man. Huh. The parts I go to. <laughs> How long have you been working there, man? <laughs> like two weeks, man. It ain't been that long. It ain't been that long. Did he have to sign, like, a waiver? For... Oh. You have to sign a waiver if you have to drop off that fifty no, ba- foot boom ba- and shit. Basically, what you do is you sign an agreement saying that you accept all risk and shit like that. Like, but then that's with any of our tools. I mean, just from from anything. So once you sign your name the first time, that's it. 
It's like it's all on you now. Like if anything happens to you, Home Depot is not liable. It's too much pressure for me. Can you rent like uh, parts of tools, like the just the back part of the hammer or a battery pack? <laughs> back part you just want the you just want the nails. stick part. He <laughs> <laughs> wants an axe handle. <laughs> like, fuck. I need some nails removed, but not put back in. <laughs> <laughs> you just want the, the little fucking two hooks yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Nah, man, you gotta rent the whole thing oh, and shit, yeah. man. You gotta rent everything, but we don't rent like, like that's young shit. Like hammers, you can just buy a hammer. It'll probably cost you more to rent one than just buy one. Well, you that's the saying? customer's option. But you know, well, I mean, we don't rent hammers, bro. We rent bulldozers and shit though. Like you can get a fucking uh, bobcat for like a hundred twenty nine of for four hours. You I do rent- whatever the fuck you want in it. I, I rented a fucking what? What are those things they use to tear up your yard? Rototiller. Yeah. I rented one of those, and when I got it, I got about a quarter way into my yard, and it fell apart. Someone had like used tie wire to to hold it together. Yeah, that's. And that was that was fucking. That's why stellar. we tell people to get the damage protection, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know who had that shit before you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because if it breaks and you bring it back and it looked like it was negligence, then yeah. we charging you and shit. This is not funny at all. You just no, <laughs> no, no. This is literally me telling you about my Shut fucking up. job. Yeah, I think it's interesting. <laughs> it was I heard it, but it was low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, oh. we got you now. The or question is should we? No, you shouldn't hear. Me. Oh. You should have more self esteem, Andrew. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Gentlemen, what, what we I don't know. This is a weird today? energy right now. What I'm are we just, talking about today, man? I, I, fucked, I fucked up everything. I'm nah, sorry. I think it was me with the Home Depot talk, man. Yeah. <laughs> nobody nobody wants to fucking hear about Depot. Depot. That I do want to hear about. Y'all got the pot. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bro. Do they drug test at Home Depot? They do, sir. They oh. do. They do. That's why I've been refraining from uh, partaking. I get I get drug tested randomly every time I talk about hanging out with my comedian friends. <laughs> I do that same crap. Uh, that's how I was in the military, man. It was it was terrible. Random drug test. You went on leave for more than two weeks. You probably were getting getting a random. Yep. I don't like. Uh, I think random drug tests are kind of unfair. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're too random. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like either get them all the time. You know, but like don't. daily, right? Yeah, like you go in every day and they drug test you. But like you get behind that. But if it's random, it's like, hey, you might be able to smoke pot, or you might not be right. able. You know, right. it's like uh, you need clear boundaries. Yeah, That's either, boost. either do let they, people do their thing or don't. You know, don't try to s- sneak one up on them. You know. <laughs> yeah, they drug tested you for your job, right? Yeah, when okay. I first started, because yeah, it's like a health. Thing. He said when I first started, but now, now, <laughs> now, not so much. Free game. <laughs> I'm stabbing people with these. <laughs> I'm stabbing people with joints. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> with joints, eh? <laughs> I just burned them. <laughs> I burned their blood into my joint, yeah, oh took it my inward, God. and then pee into a tube. <laughs> Odd. I know that was oh a viable gosh. option. Um, they're. They're looking up a video for us right now. Okay. Did you guys see that video of that uh, guy punching his toddler? Oh, I, 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 I heard about it? it, but I haven't watched it yet. What what porn website was this on? Oh, uh, this is he didn't punch him with his pud. Oh. He just punched him with his fist. <laughs> <laughs> That would be horrible. I don't think you could find that on. I mean, you could find that on a website, but I don't I'm know sure you guys would extra do, for that. that. Sounds you know. Same cops who checked on Pete Townsend will come to your house. <laughs> wimp, wimp. Punching a, a toddler. Uh, yeah, so this guy was at the at the store. And sometimes your kids get out of hand. We're parents here. Andrew, you have five kids. Yeah. Um, all half black. All <laughs> half black from my side, of the course. Dark mate, the dark meat makes you skeet. I know yeah. that. Dark it's meat okay. makes you skeet. <laughs> I heard Tyson say skate. that on, <laughs> one time. I was like, that's so fucking beautiful. That meat makes you skeet. <laughs> he said just like that. But So uh, we all have kids here, uh, except for these two yokels. Andrew, you've mentioned your five kids. Brian, you have, uh, how old is your kid? He's 12. 12, okay, right. So sometimes you get a little upset at your kid, right? Sometimes you want to make them act right. But uh, every and you might yell at them. I don't know. Do you guys hit your kids at all? I don't anymore. Yeah, yeah it's I don't anymore. Um, I mean, and, and I mean, he's here. <laughs> he, he can he ask your questions. Here. I mean, y'all can literally ask him right now. Do you want to come up to the microphone and, and and speak some truth and tell us whether or not your dad punches you in the face? 
No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he knows better. He's like, I'm good <laughs> That's here. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> nah, I was kidding. Um, but nah, what I do now is uh, well, not even now because I haven't disciplined him in a while. He's been actually pretty amazing. So, um, but we do the what we call the letter T. The letter T. Yeah, and it's that? just basically like like a timeout. Yeah, you you want me to show you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Show show me on Andrew. No, I mean I, I can have him show you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That'd be jacked. I don't want to do that. Okay. No, yeah, but nah. Um, basically, it's just yeah. He just it, basically what he's doing right now. He just puts his arms up. He stands, you know, in the corner, puts his arms up. You just chill like that, right? Yep. And how old are you? Not nine. So yeah, he holds it for nine minutes. No, that's not bad. That's. I mean, that's horrible. Yeah. Jeez. It's gosh. Bad. Yeah. Don't that's don't ever time. do anything bad because yeah, yeah, that sounds horrible, man. But uh, now he's getting so strong that we give him like soup cans or dictionaries and yeah, shit. Hey, you know Jesus you make did it hard. that for nine hours. All right. He did. <laughs> he did. Jesus did. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the whole crucifixion. <laughs> yeah. Thing. He was like, you know, he wasn't standing on the floor but either. I, yeah. I probably haven't done that since he was like. Oh my gosh! So it's like, like younger, young, right? You know what I mean? Like so, because he's been, you know, he hasn't gotten in too much trouble. It's just usually a stern talking to, and that's it. You know, Brian, you uh, you punch your kid in the face? Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not, not. He he hasn't he's fucked made up it to, yet. He's he's close. <laughs> he's made it to twelve without being punched in the face. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna amazing. do it. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, he's never, done. I'm never going to do. No. Have you ever? Have you ever? Uh, you know, I give him a smack on the butt. Or you know, uh, no, never really. A, was, he tried. About. He tried to run for a, the street one time, and I and, and, and you know, he had to make sure he does not. He do gave that. him a firm snatch, like you know, so yeah. you grab him, like no. But and, yeah, you know. no, we we figured out early on the we 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 count to three, and at three, really really bad shit happens. So we usually only get to two. Yeah, right. Alan, did you want to intro this video? No, I don't know how. Okay, so there's this uh, guy in a store in a store, and his kid. Uh, his kid is uh, doing something he doesn't like. I don't know, talking or being a kid. Yeah, right. But uh, when you get a look at this dude and the way he handles his kid, you, you can probably guess that he's not. He's no parent of the year. Let's uh, let's take a look here, folks. Don't do this you to your kid. Oh, wait. Is this is a commercial. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this? Well, I mean, I think he does something jacked up to his kid. This movie is what this is. Oh, you don't take a swing at my hair. You little... So yeah, I mean it's just about the same. It's pretty much what happened. Baby goes down. (laughs) 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 I would hate to see when you see the real video. (laughs) If that was that funny. I don't know if the real video is actually supposed to be funny. But it's yeah. not. It's definitely not. It's loads but. of laughs. Okay, kids. Oh, my oh, God. Shit. Whoa. No, that's a <laughs> He hit that fool like he was a goddamn. And then you hit the laugh track on that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that even his kid? Wait, was that his kid? No. That wasn't hey, even- it takes a village, all right? <laughs> I think- <laughs> oh, was he jumping him into the gang or something? No. the fuck happened? Did they play it again? Or did they just show yeah, him one? just extra. He's oh, going punching he more did. kids or what? Oh, he like. He's funny. He's pulling him like, hey, look. <laughs> yeah, well, it, one punch, and he laid that kid out with one punch, so that's impressive. Uh, all right. Yeah. Come on, bro. Kid's a punk. <laughs> I forgot I had the soundboard here. Let's see. Is this a replay? Is it replaying? Is that what that is? Yeah, Maybe it was a different angle or something? I don't know. I couldn't tell. I'm working on it. <laughs> That is insane. A life-size <laughs> replica of the French <laughs> Navy frigate Lesson One is ready to set sail for its maiden voyage to the United States. Yeah. Move on. It's important. It's important news. He, so yeah, he was arrested? So. Oh, yeah. Look, uh, California man arrested for punching toddler. toddler in the face. But was it like an accident type of thing, like in the Will Ferrell thing? Oh, you said it no. Totally looked like an accident. Did you see him run? <laughs> <laughs> he got to run and start first. Cut him been... off and then caught him with one. Oh, can I see it again? We're doing it. Okay, this is 
the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Watch this little kid get knocked out by his dad. And then he 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 he's presenting it like it's a world star video. <laughs> Watch this little kid get bam world star. Like that's the only thing that's missing is some black person in the background like, yelling world star. It almost looks like he shouted at him after where he was on the ground. Look, like yo, what? And then what like the lady do? didn't do shit. She was just like, let me grab him and get him up out of here. Let's, yeah. let's get out of here. That's why I think that it's like uh, it's her boyfriend. It or gotta be something, and she's like, used to that shit. Or maybe his, her, her kid is just that much of a dick. He just she's just punched used to it everywhere. <laughs> like, Yo, what have you done? Like, could you have seen you that in the story? <laughs> like, could you have saw that happen like in person and not this shit? Like, would you? Oh, like, oh, dude, fuck. someone punches your kid, you're gonna go crazy. That's what, but not your kid. I'm just saying, dead. like, if you just saw a dude, like, you just punch in there, kid. yeah, just punch a kid in the face, like, cold cock him. I don't know. What would you do? What would you say? I would. I would have. I would probably have to fuck him up. Really? Like dead ass serious. That that's one thing I can't. I don't tolerate like. I don't, I don't get in a lot of people's business and shit like that, but I, I, I it's hard for me to tolerate like somebody putting hands on a woman in front man. of me or like a, a kid, man. Like I, I can't. I don't know. I, it's something in my head. It's like you ah, motherfucker. Problem, like you know. But I don't. You, I, I have no idea. What if it was a woman punching the kid and then the kid punched her back? <laughs> who would you punch? Like who would you? I don't think punch? I. I don't think I would do nothing. Then. It was like just hey, that's something they just gonna sorry. have to hash out on their own. But just for a man to hit a woman in the face, like, just, just you know, like just straight still on the rough. fucked up, man. Well, and that's the thing about uh, kind of like uh, the equality and combat thing. Yeah. Like, that's one of the uh, psychological factors is they didn't want women on the front lines because it's quite different to see a dude get blown apart yeah, than to see a to woman see a get woman, blown yeah. apart. Like, they, they figure people just couldn't handle that shit. You all right there, Brian? I'm all right. <laughs> okay, man. Are you? He's all, he's getting mad now. He's like, motherfucker. I'm going to find you. He's turning a little red. No, I'm, I'm all right. Just making you awake? I'm, I'm what have you been up to? I, I was, What'd you do before you got here? I was taking a nap. Oh, cool. Yeah. Late night last night? Yeah. Yeah? What'd yeah. you do? I sat at my house and drank heavily. <laughs> what were you drinking? <laughs> uh, I drank whiskey and beer. Whiskey and beer. What kind of whiskey are you drinking? Uh, that was a... Uh, it was actually a scotch. Oh, what? I was going to guess, but it doesn't matter. Scotch? Scotch. Go ahead and guess. Jameson. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's some weird kind. I don't I don't know. It was on like, sale. Like a Johnny Walker type of thing? Yeah, it was something like that. <laughs> something of that nature. It was whatever they recommended me at the... Was it Yukon Gold? <laughs> Yukon Gold is what Alan says. You like that Yukon Gold, Alan? No. Does it, Does it have no, real I chips have, of gold I in it? I had nothing else to say other than is it a gross one? It, oh. No, it was actually pretty good. Yukon Gold. What do you guys think of uh, Goldschlager? Speaking of gold, I think the eighties were awesome for this. I found out what the gold and gold slogger is supposed to do. Why? Like it's it's in there. What happens is when you drink it, the gold creates little micro tears in your fucking in your the roof of your mouth and your throat. Like Captain Crunch. Fucking, yeah, so you can absorb the liquor faster. It goes really? straight to your blood. Fucking oh dead ass serious. I don't. I don't buy that. No, not at all. <laughs> no. Alan's calling. Alan, Alan, come here. Hey, Google I, it. This is what I learned from my fucking, you know, saying, uh, uh, taking the it's, bartending. It's fucking. edible gold, though. They, it's like with the ice cream that costs like twelve thousand dollars in New York. They put gold foil around it. But it's why completely does it, edible. It doesn't why does cut it up your fucking, stomach. Why does it fucking? It just folds up. Gold slugger costs twelve thousand dollars. Then it doesn't. I was saying, why doesn't it? That's what I'm saying. Because it's, it's much foil thinner. gold. <laughs> it's not good gold. <laughs> well, why does that fucking cheap version of ice cream cost twelve thousand dollars? It's then? mica. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's like I said. That's what I was told. Cameron, fucking, look it up on Snopes. In my bartending the shit. The, uh, the gold, uh, gold slogger slogger. thing. Yeah, it probably is on Snopes, too. Gold slogger is a Swiss cinnamon schnapps. It is. The core is very thin, yet visible flakes of gold floating in it. Actual amount of gold has been measured to about 13 milligrams in a one liter bottle. As of no, that's like medical terms, Jesus. As of November 2012, uh, the amounts to 0.56 euro or what? That means it's like, yeah, it's like nothing. Yeah, it, all you did is like put. Why do you have? That's just information. Why? That told us nothing about what we were talking about. Yeah, gold is actually in it, and it told false. Us how much gold was in it. Bam, carrot slices. All right, what does it say? Uh, I will stay corrected. Like I said, this is what I was told. Let's see. Gold slugger is the liqueur clan in gold. Some people believe that the purpose of the flakes is to produce microscopic cuts uh, in the walls and speed up the absorption of alcohol into the blood. Um, Scroll down. I see big. Bit. I see big folks. Let's, let's look for the uh, actual answer. 
It's impossible to pl- uh, wait. What? Yeah, it's 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 basically bullshit. I'm mad you can read that from here. No, yeah, right. I'm impressed. Yeah, that shit's small. Keep scrolling, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Do your job. No, <laughs> yeah, so he's a much faster reader than you're giving him credit for. Yeah, so it's bullshit. Is what they're saying. Cool. Yeah. I mean, you have to try it's to edible make gold. sound stupid. No. You know what I mean? that's, no. that's what I was told. He was I was just, just relaying just, information. He just called just, Smitty you know, out on, uh, well, on no, live it's, podcast. It's hey, bartenders, it's it's cool. bartenders are putting out false information. That's true. They are. They're trying to make people think they're going to die will, from gold schlag. They're, they're trying that to make the job seem cooler. It's like, I will hey, call man, that chick and let her know. But, like, it's fucking wrong, bitch. It's fucking wrong. Yeah. What is that? Oh. Dude. Gold Slogger and uh, Jägermeister is pretty good. What that's is what I was saying. Gold yeah, Slogger, that's like a, what's that? A it's a cinnamon schnapps. Yeah. What's a schnapps? Yeah. Schnapps is it's like a sugary, yeah, it's flavorful, yeah. like kind of peppermint schnapps. It's, uh, like, it's kind of syrupy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's, I think it's a liqueur. It, is that like a Jägermeister type of thing? Kind of. Yeah, a little Speaking bit. Speaking of Jägermeister, here's a uh, drink that Alan likes. Uh, it's it's a rich dead Nazi. It's Goldschlager, <laughs> Ye- liquid cocaine. Jägermeister, and peppermint schnapps yeah. mixed in equal proportion. That sounds yep. terrible. It's pretty, actually, they get, all, they all, all like, because I've drank Jägermeister and uh, Goldschlager together, and they, like, kind of eliminate each other's taste, so it combines pretty good. It's not that bad. You used to call it a starry night. Or, uh, or a uh, Goldmeister or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gold, Goldmeister. I, I, I call it diabetes in a cup. That, or that. <laughs> Too much sugar. You guys you guys ever tried uh, there's a there's a liqueur called Malort. No. Malort? It's, yeah. It, it's a it's a local evil. Lo- it is. It's it's horrible. It's a locally famous uh liqueur in Wait, that's Merlot, that's wine. Malort. Malort. It's it has two R's. Uh, I stopped the crash. I stopped the crash. He's like, wait a minute. I have good reaction time. I just got my brakes worked on. (laughs) He's like, wait a minute. It's it's known for being the worst tasting liqueur that there is, and it's it's it sounds super famous around Chicago. it, 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 that figures. I mean, what does Chicago, it taste like? like they're going to have good liquor taste. It, it tastes like they're all in tall buildings and are swaying around. They're like, "Fuck, are we going to fall?" It Drink tastes like medicine, like Probably a really, really like bad medicine. Dead it's, bodies, out of motherfuckers dying out there, bitch. Chicago, they be killing people for no reason. It got famous sense. because it was the only one. It was. It's made with wormwood, and it was oh, the only like thing. That, yeah, but it was the only thing that was still legal because it had an actual medical. Uh, use when there was prohibition, so, which is I don't know, fuck you up, I guess. <laughs> Induced vomiting, <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you ate some tainted meat, have some of this. There, there's there's a whole there's a whole thing on it. It's like kind of famous. I don't know. I have to I have to research it more. I'll, I'll give you a report. All I'm, right, I'm going to Chicago in a month. One more drink I wanted to squeeze in here is Rim Job Swirl. Of course. Gold Schlager topped off with a shot of Godiva white chocolate liqueur. That sounds gross. It does. And it's got a rim. (laughs) Shut up! (laughs) Stop with the sounds! It's my soundboard. That's some excellent soundboard work. Fuck. There's like a whole story in that soundboard, you know. It is. Lady, it is. you know, tells a guy to shut up. And, and it all ends. Over. Yeah. Suck yourself. <laughs> I've never heard it's that. Like, suck yourself. <laughs> suck yourself. <laughs> suck yourself. That's a great insult, Just the right? way he said it, too. <laughs> suck yourself. <laughs> Suck yourself. <laughs> that sounds that, 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 that sound like some porn shit, though. That's what he's, he's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was from a, it was from a behind the scenes of a Marilyn Manson video. Yeah, shoot. he was telling off Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Suck yourself. Well then. <laughs> no. Yes. I don't want to watch Two Chains eating <laughs> ice cream. Man. Yes. Two chains. I'm gonna tell y'all about Two Chains after this. Cause I, you know, me and cream, and we infuse it with Madagascar vanilla. Then we Madagascar roll it vanilla, in so there's roaches gold. in it. What's going on with this gold thing that you can eat? Tell me about that. You can eat pure gold. <laughs> Doesn't have a taste, but it has a real cool texture. And there's nothing cooler than eating gold. Then we add some of the most expensive Makes chocolate in twinkle, the world. Man. Some of the rarest <laughs> what? chocolate in the world. Candy Makes fruit. a dookie twinkle. These are little candied fruit from Fauchon in Paris, and these are made 
with gorgeous fresh fruit soaked in a sugar solution for about a month. It's fruit that, you, that, that is turned to a candy, so it's kind of good for yeah, you. Yeah, it's good for you. <laughs> it's good <laughs> that we really top that to with <laughs> this flour. Seem profound about eating gold. Totally made of sugar, Two and it's dipped smart, in gold. Man. And it's totally realize. edible. This flower? The flower is edible. Oh, it's a sugar oh, flower. It looks, like, it looks like an orchid, yeah, right? Yeah. And on top, we have the world's only dessert caviar. Salt-free caviar infused with passion fruit and armyak. <laughs> This is crazy, man. And $20,000 ice cream. <laughs> and then the spoon. With a gold That's because spoon. of the spoon. On a gold plate. plate. The, <laughs> the spoon so is, is like three quarters of the price. Do you get to take uh, the spoon home with you? Real no. That's what mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it is at his home, Ranger so. The, uh, how much is this Sunday worth? How much is this It's Sunday worth a Saturday. For the record holding <laughs> champion like yourself, Joe. What Roll is this up. Sunday? Tell me the cost of it right now. I'm sure I... You just tongue the same question a million $1, different ways. dollars thousand That's not bad. The Sunday itself is a thousand. The spoon and you get to keep the is twenty. Oh yeah. shit! If you want to eat it, oh shit! You get to keep a thousand dollars. You know how much a thousand dollars is? Do people come eat this thousand dollars? Yeah. We sell at least once a week. Seriously? Yeah. That's what you'd really talk about having. This is annoying taste. Yeah, this shit is gonna melt if I don't eat it. So I'm about to eat it. Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. I don't like that he has this whole most expensive stuff series. Most it's it's expensive. really angry. And the video camera. But see, here's the thing, though. But it's not like he's doing it just he. Because, like, I was, you know, that one where he went to the shoe store and they were telling him about some of them expensive ass shoes. He didn't, like, buy them. He was like, this is the dumbest thing you can spend your money on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like he's going to get it. The sad part is they were all American made. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't like he was going to get it or nothing like that. He's just, like, just showing expensive shit. And he's like, this is stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I saw one where uh, he was trying to, like, get the most expensive weed or something like that. All he really did is roll up a giant, giant blunt. You can smoke pure gold? Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> gold foil pipe. You probably get wrap. <laughs> what the fuck? Pretty good weed. Thousand dollar cupcake. Why are we watching this shit? <laughs> so it can inspire us to make more money. <laughs> so I can eat expensive cupcakes and ice yeah. cream. This could be your life every That's day. <laughs> That's the dream. People go broke in the, in the gutters, like drinking expensive liquor. No, this is about cupcakes and ice cream. This is way too dramatic for a fucking cupcake. Is, like, that's, it is a that's cupcake. It's <laughs> way too dramatic. Organic for a strawberries. Like Dipped in gold that. powder. She got the theme music from fucking 300 of them. I'm expecting them to start going in slow motion. And then we roll the cupcake in gold. I'm not even doing a good job. The gold is breaking. Who does this kind of stuff? I wonder if the gold would hurt your teeth if you had fillings, kind of like aluminum foil does. I bet you it would. I would not be able to eat that. My entire mouth would just be like gold sprinkling. Gold dust they flake. I prefer the rest of the gold dust. <gasps> it's like a fucking it's a giant chocolate. chocolate and then the balls. gold spoon. It's always the gold spoon. First of all, do you really you need to eat a cupcake with a spoon? <laughs> yeah. That has a lot of stuff. I don't know. Once they added the spoon, it really nice. it really like popped for me. But imagine oh, okay, hold on, pause this for a minute. Pause this. Because there's a, it's just fucking music. So <laughs> the golden <laughs> I, I I just don't see a time where like food is a thing where if you're too drunk and you eat it, you're like, ah, oh, whatever. But if you're too drunk and eat this, you're like wasting twenty eight thousand dollars on a cupcake That's that true. you're not even remembering enjoying. Yeah, but it'll taste way better when you're drunk though. Take lots of pictures and post them to Instagram. That's right. I think, like, yeah, that's the only case where Instagram photos some, for food is. Don't you think useful. if you're gonna make food, if you're gonna make gold food, and you're gonna put gold in your food, like gold should have a taste? You know, that's, yeah, that's, right. that's like cheating. It's not even you're not even using. It should food. taste like basil. Yeah, <laughs> you're not gold even. Taste that's like kind basil. of cheating, don't you think? To like. Make something expensive and then just yeah, add gold yeah, and like, like okay, you know, ooh, a ooh, diamonds. What they, should do, what they should do to make it really exclusive so people wouldn't want to eat it 
is make gold gluten flavored. <laughs> gluten flavored, but it'd be gluten free. It'd be gluten free gold, but it's gluten flavored. Yeah. Mm. Does gluten have a flavor? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. wheat. Kind of nutty. <laughs> okay, be honest. Can you enough dime. of the videos? <laughs> I sprinkle diamonds over everything I eat. <laughs> One, because it's the most balling and shit you can do to food, and two. Makes my dookie twinkle, man. I don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Dave Chappelle. That was like third season when he had already been to Africa by then. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> are you are do you, you like Dave Chappelle Dave Chappelle? Chappelle. Dave Chipotle? Yeah, I love that restaurant. <laughs> Ate there for you lunch like Dave Chappelle Extra post rice, Africa, please. pre Africa or Africa. Yeah, what is up with Dave Chappelle going nuts after he left to Africa for a couple years? I don't know why we're asking this of you specifically. <laughs> yeah, like I know that motherfucker Andrew like started. I, like I seriously hang with Dave Chappelle every day. What did day he do with like, the yeah, banana yeah, peel? Can you tell us? Is... <laughs> <laughs> he put it in his pocket for later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He know he wanted it. Uh, <laughs> put this in my act. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be slipping he on knows he next wanted show. it. Did you see really? Jason Green's uh, post uh, right at the next day after that happened? He uh, posted a picture of a banana and it said ha- on the side of it it said hashtag not all bananas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, was, that guy. Man, yeah, Jason Green's brilliant. But uh, nah, man. I mean, here I, I think you know it, it's just me going off of what he said. At least like you said, yeah. he, he lost some of his freedom. I guess his creative freedom. So he he went didn't. To Africa. He didn't want to. Yeah. I guess he went back to the motherland and shit. But I guess he's just like, shit, you know, a lot of the shit that they had him doing, he didn't want to do. Yeah, he you thought it was I mean? kind of like putting down It was like, race. yeah, super racist, you know what I'm saying, at, 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 at some point, I guess. And he just, Wasn't like, it like take. his girlfriend, though? Like, was that convinced him to do that, like go to Africa and everything? I, thought I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you – I don't know, man. When you turn down $50 million – it's more than a, a bitch ain't gonna make you do shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's that's the least of your concerns is some chick like trying to make you go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm I'm pretty sure it was some internal conflict or something to have because you don't just turn down fifty million dollars for a seat. You've already done two seasons of probably one of the greatest sketch comedy shows ever. You know what I'm saying? And they wanna they wanna give you fifty million dollars for another season, not for you know, multiple seasons for one season Man. they want to give you 50 million dollars yeah you get some it's some it's some wrong with you you know what i mean so I yeah know. but you know it's also like you only live so long you know yolo you, you know you only <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be like yolso yeah yolso i was trying to figure yolso. it out like you will live so long <laughs> 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 or Yosel. <laughs> Fuck. Why can't I think of that acronym? God Write it. it down. Huh? <laughs> Type it in your phone real quick. So what but, you're saying that, yeah. yeah, go ahead. I'm just saying that you're only allowed a certain amount of time on the wor- in the world. I mean, you you could, uh, you know, do something you're not enjoying for a lot of money, but... I, are you gonna be happy? Hey, you know, I, I mean, because you, you. you only need so much money to like survive. You know, cause maybe you maybe he's like, you know what? I don't want to. I would rather have less money than and be do, happy than yeah. than have this period of time uh, of time where I'm gonna be miserable. No, I, I I I understand it. I ain't never blamed him for it. I was like, shit, whatever. Like that's your life, man. Like I, mm-hmm. you know, you know they, they have nothing to do with me. So they kind of um did him dirty, but then well, he kind of well he canceled like after signing the deal, he kind of canceled it. Yeah. But he didn't. Uh, the word was that he didn't really explain it to his staff too much. Mm. Like Charlie Murphy, all those dudes that were working on that show, they, they did. Didn't, he didn't because you they see, they really they get. hosted that next season or yes. what, whatever was left of it, and he was pissed yeah. about that. And dude. it was just like, well, they put that was their job, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Man. They literally, you. I mean, he wasn't their boss, but he was their boss. You know what I mean? He just left. Like you know what? Fuck it. It was like how uh, Zangara Dodge did. I had a friend that worked at Zane Garrett Dodds. He said he literally walked up to the doors and there was a note on that bitch. Like, it was closed. You know, he was there the day before, and then the next day they were done. He was like, clean your office out. We're closed. Oh, yeah, you know were. what I'm saying? They like, you know, just like that. So that's pretty much what happened to them. It was like, shit, this motherfucker signed a deal and then left. And, and that was it. 
Yeah, most of those dudes, done. he revived their careers yeah. from nowhere. Yeah, because they, they weren't getting any other work. And I mean, Charlie Murphy. Really. I've seen Charlie Murphy stand up. Is he funny? Yeah. It's rough. It's not. It's not. You know, great. It ain't bad. But so is not, it Eddie Murphy? No, hell no. <laughs> it's Eddie Murphy that's from not SNL. even Britney Murphy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just up as Eddie Murphy SNL <laughs> hosting. Yeah. yeah, SNL. What is it? Fortieth anniversary? Yeah, is that what it was. Jesus. I uh, but yeah. Oh, we're talking about yeah. Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was like, you brought it up, brother. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're you're topic, nowhere. <laughs> we were. Yeah. He was like, how do you feel about uh, Dave, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle and Sh- fucking? Sh- we were talking about Dave Chappelle and like Charlie Murphy and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And I think what he should have done is he should have gone to Africa, started another Chappelle show over there, <laughs> and had it become even bigger than the, the American, the American Chappelle show. You know. That's the, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Those first two seasons, and I mean, even the, some of the sketches that were in the third season, like, dude, like. Half finished. It, it, it's fucking great, man. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's shit that I can still quote to this day, like, word for word. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And now, like, you got, like, who is that? Uh, Key and Peel. Like, they finally starting to come up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That first season was. You you go back and watch it now. It's like, damn, okay, that was funny and shit. But now these motherfuckers are like, they're they're. Do you see the racist zombies? They're fucking hilarious. Did I that? I seen that. It's like there's there's zombies they were, going by this black family and like the little girls about to like bite one of the kids or or one uh, of the black people and then them. the mom zombies like. Ah. <laughs> 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 there, those dudes are hilarious. I didn't know when it even really turned. Uh, like I didn't even really know that show was a thing until someone turned me on right. to it, and I was like, it's, whoa, it's shit. Fuck, the like, funniest yeah, was, shit is when they do the uh, the uh, the. The East versus West like football thing they do all like the weird ass like football names. Oh my gosh, that was that yeah, shit is that fucking hilarious. <laughs> Quack a dilly blip. <laughs> I felt like I felt like Rutgers. when it started, it was just it was <laughs> it felt like they were like shoehorned into being a cheap replacement for David yeah. Bell. Yeah, and but but since then they've they've gotten so much better. But it like, wasn't. But even even. Some of the early shit is still really really funny. I don't think it was even. It didn't even start with them because I mean you got to think as soon as he left. Carlos Mencia got a show like that. Yep. Fucking uh, who else? It was a couple other comics that they tried to plug into that spot, and it didn't work. Uh, what's his name? Atheon Crockett had got a damn show. He was kind of funny. Like Did that. you ever yeah, see your show? I, I thought he was, Crockett? yeah. But it didn't, la- it didn't last, no. but shit, maybe four or Three, five four episodes months, yeah. at the most, you know, so... I and don't his know, impressions man. were spot on, too. Yeah. Like he, he does Jay-Z and, you know, all the, you know, other people pretty good, but he just wasn't... It wasn't Chappelle's show, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what they were looking for. I don't even think he was on. Wasn't he in like on Fox or some shit like that? Like, I don't yeah, know if he, he was, was on, on Cartoon Fox. Network. Uh, Fox, I say Cartoon Network. Uh, Comedy, Comedy Central. Central. I mean, but. They're pretty know. much the same thing nowadays, yeah. you know? Yeah. Cartoon Network has no cartoons on it now, man. Yeah. Like, when you watch that shit at night, it's all like every show that's on there is live action. Like, what the fuck? It's like, this is. Yeah, it's Cartoon it. Network. Cart- yeah, yeah, I don't all understand. These, all these kids are getting getting exposed to all this. Vulgarity, you know, like at, <laughs> when they're when they're supposed to be watching Bugs Bunny and SpongeBob. All right. Well, Bugs Bunny was man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen oh, the anyway. new SpongeBob movie? No. Have you? No. Nah, was it I'm good? Go see it. <laughs> Why did I say it wasn't good after you said no? <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob went down after the first movie though. It was funny. And then he came out with his first movie. And it was like that's it. It, it, it wasn't the same. I didn't well, think I feel, do you think SpongeBob is kind of like the Three Stooges? I heard he went to Africa, and that's yeah, what ruined him. You know, I mean, they offered him fifty million. Yeah, it's million. too dry up there for a sponge, man. <laughs> Just broke into pieces. Yeah. They offered him a fifty million dollar pineapple under the sea and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's gold that you can eat. <laughs> Just be careful; it cuts your gums. <laughs> Check Snopes just in case. What are you gonna do next time a, a bartender tells you some shit? He's like, well, you like, know, my man. Let me tell you, yeah. <laughs> son of a fucking lie. Nah, me. I went to a I, like an actual bartending school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was in Atlanta, I was looking for some fucking. I was like, let me. I can do this. This is cool. And that's what the biz told me. It is uh, weird how much stuff is like, like even in academia and in like school, a bunch Great of words. like a, a whole bunch of bullshit ACT is words. spread because. Everyone like a lot of people say that like your blood is blue when right. it's like not in when it doesn't when come yeah, out. But that's de- not like I've heard that's not oxygen. true. You yeah. know, right? It needed the money. Yeah, right. <laughs> it needed the money. <laughs> T 
Yeah, they like, okay. the, and they say, yeah, they say that your blood is like that's. And then I right. took a phlebotomy pl- thing, and they said, no, it's it's always yeah, red. It's you know, yeah. it's darker if it's if there's more oxygen in it. Right. right? That's why right. it's always people always say like, oh my god, my blood's so dark. You know, when I take it out of the vein, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to. Be. The blood from like the the artery is dark. It's lighter, and, and but, blood but, coming from like major organs because it has more oxygen. In yeah, it. yeah. You all you know this because you're a X ray. You both are X ray guys, so you guys should just have an X ray <laughs> talk for a little. Why while. is that picture of Chris Rock? <laughs> In there with all the pictures of Dave Chappelle, <laughs> like they think they look the same. Like same, same the fuck person, out basically. here. They're basically the same person. Yeah, like, I just realized. I was like, why is there a picture of Chris it's like Rock? One of those spot the differences. Or right, <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. It's not even the white version of fucking. They, that, you know where he's making for the white. Okay, so what do y'all think about white face versus black face? Yeah. Let's go to our, our resident Caucasian expert here. Alan, what do you think of white face versus black face? Like, I mean, white face on black people? Are you offended? Yeah. Well, it's a lot harder to pull off and make it look legit. Then. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> so what, saying, what you're no. saying is, is that when white people do black, black face, face, it looks way like, better. Okay. Like <laughs> that shit is that shit is avatar spot on, motherfucker. Like <laughs> kind of goddamn special effects that they use. He looks oh, black. Look it does, but that's the whole point. It's supposed he to be looks fun. like uh, Mike Myers. When no, Nick Cannon no, did it, it looked ridiculous. When Dave Chappelle did it, it looked ridiculous. Uh, that's not to say that when Ted Turner did it at Whoopi Goldberg's roast, it didn't look ridiculous. That one did. Ted Danson. But Ted Danson. Yeah. Ted Danson. What did I say? Ted Turner. Ted Turner. Well, God I damn think it. no matter. That would have been hilarious too. But. <laughs> but I think with the with the Chappelle makeup, they actually like they kind of did it a shade, so it's really obvious. Right. Like they didn't try and skin yeah, tone match it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Andrew, does that offend you when when black people wear white face? Um, well, you, you're saying, like, does it uh, offend offend me? Well, I think it... Are you like, hey, why can't I do the reverse? Are you like, well, hey, as why long isn't that cool for me? As long as it's not making fun of white people, I think it's good. But if well, it's that's a, good, because that's paying, never what it's well, for. If it's, <laughs> it's Dave Chappelle. <laughs> always <laughs> making fun of white people. If it's like paying an, a homage to white people or something, oh. like paying tribute to all the great <laughs> things they've done, then, <laughs> then, it, then it's okay. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Look at this shit. See, I, I, <laughs> you see, but see, here's the thing. The reason, but here's the thing. Hold on. The the reason I like Dave Chappelle's white face, like when he did the white face, is because his white face character still had n- Negro tendencies. Like he was still, he was still hood. You know what I mean? It was like you know he was Tyrone Coppel. You know what I mean? And so it was like cool. Like he wasn't. He was a black dude that just happened to be white. You know what I mean? Like, Remember uh, Eddie Murphy's sketch where he where he, he puts white like uh, he puts the white original face. SNL sketch. Right. Yeah, where, and then like white but, people are giving him free yeah, shit. Yeah, he's like he's like this, he's okay. a, a black like clerk ones. person. Is like uh, it's like I want to buy this newspaper. And it's like you're gonna have to pay. And then some yeah. lady, then some white guy comes up. It's like no, it's it's free, man. It's free. <laughs> It's okay, take it. Now, take see, it. that's white face right there. Like, that motherfucker, that's lo- Snoop outside of the, yeah, I know. I say, outside of the fact that his nose is fucking gargantuan, <laughs> he would look white. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, he could pull, he could probably pass for a white dude. Like, but I don't think so. His nose is fucking huge. It looks like Paul Williams. The voice that goes along with it. Yeah. Is like, uh, he looks like Paul Williams from, uh, right, from those 70s shows. Oh, I thought you meant Paul 70s. Walker. I was like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he took off the makeup. <laughs> Not that white. <laughs> Not that white. <laughs> yeah, Rest in peace, <laughs> seven. Rest in ash. <laughs> That's right, his name was Paul. Hey, guys, yeah. it's Todd again. <laughs> you can see, I'm riding through the city having a fucking blast, baby. <laughs> yeah, white guys connect. Looking for any single females. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm baby. less offended by whiteface. I'm more offended by the the well, tone they mock us in. This new web. <laughs> so white the voice is a bit yeah. much. Is it, it, it is. is. Oh, like, oh, why you gotta females. like? Oh, but hey. it, but it's the same oh, shit. Hey. Think about it. Think about it. It's the same hey. shit though. When mo- it, it, what Hello voice? There, G, you know what voice do you think of? Do do a black person right now. Oh, hello there, my name. 
Like, and I, I say, yeah, exactly. See you soon. You're going to Amos and Andy. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to say yo at least three times or some silly yeah, shit like, like that. Brian, you know Brian, let's hear your impression of an African-American In the breeze. I, I got the mocked for my African-American like, for real, impression for once. Did you? White man. Yeah. called African-American. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't saying <laughs> You can say black, I'm but, but you know, no, no. Okay. no. It's okay. Crochet. What do you think? I'm just bezel you with this microphone right now. I don't give a I don't fuck. Like shit. I don't. Now, since we're on the topic of black people, I was thinking, like, <laughs> now, and, and, yeah, and, like, Andrew's vo- so straight up. And voices look, and things. Like, they don't look too much different. <laughs> no, fuck it with you. <laughs> His nose is just the nose, man. I don't think Snoop Dogg has enough pink makeup on. Like there, there has to be a nice. Mix. But his it white, too... his white face looks way more serious. Like he was actually trying to look white more than fucking Dave Chappelle did. Yeah, like yeah. Dave Chappelle looked almost alienish. You know what I mean? And, oh and, yeah, and the amount of like gray that he was and shit. You know looked, I mean? He almost. I mean, although he was doing a white face thing, he almost looked as ashy as someone. Could right, get. right, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> ashy, Larry, ashy and shit. <laughs> Go upstairs and put some lotion on. <laughs> yeah. So it's settled. Uh, is it? Yeah. I think I, I, so. I'm saying, I just white like, people I just, still can't do blackface. I just wanted to know like how people felt about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't. I I don't know. I don't. know. It doesn't really. It's not really a. It doesn't. Big thing. But it does. I don't think it affects because white people as much because it's not. It, that is, is, is hard to tell. Well, it is really Instagram exaggerated. Picture, right. And, but Cannon, that's and it. Yes, generally, both sides. You know, but, but white see, that was there, the thing because, like I said, fucking back in the day. Caption. It's official. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm white. I'm white. Oh, get the fuck out of here. See, but like, but like either, I said, with blackface, extreme exaggeration. But like I said, back side. in the That's day, blackface was used to, you know what I'm saying? Blackface yeah, was has, used for something. It has a very different. negative history it to it. You know? And so that's, I think that's why black people get mad at it. It's just like the N-word, you know what I'm saying? I, I was talking to a guy at the bar the other day. He was like, I wish there was a word that white people had. That was, I was like, no, you don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, you don't wish there was a word that had the same fucking, like, meaning there's or no, connotation. Yeah, there's no, Nobody wants it. Yeah, yeah, like, there's no word that's ever going to have that much meaning to to a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it's what, not, is spick? Is spick bad? It, I, I mean, think it is. I mean, I think, to me, I think gook is, like, the worst fucking racist like, to me. You know what I'm saying? But it sounds like, like a texture. It, it does, but I mean, this is cause of, like my homeboy used to say that shit to us all day. He call us like gookies and fucking gooks <laughs> and zipper heads and shit. Like we ain't Asian, but he was just say it, just yeah. to say it. I thought that shit was way worse. I than feel niggas. like since we you know uh, I mean? since we fought those people in wars, it's kind of okay to say those <laughs> words. You know, if they're shooting at you, you're gonna say something. Yeah, because they represent America fighting for our freedom. Right. So I think you know it's okay. Okay, here's a scenario. so you would call a Jap a Jap like or a Japanese a Jap, person a Jap. a Jap like that's, yeah, call a Jap. All right, Andrew, Andrew spade to say that. Andrew, here's a scenario. I don't think it's as bad since. I feel since you know it's part of their it's part of Japan. Is just hey, I just shortened it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I, I that's I don't know. I can only speak on the black plight. You know what I'm saying? But um, as I was, like, small, I'm looking up videos. Bro. You're fucking Brad, sidetracking. No. Shit. He's doing his job. <laughs> what the fuck? What are they doing in the water? <laughs> this is not going to be allowed. Like we're going to get kicked off. Oh of yeah, YouTube. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> this is why I've been saying. Why are you looking up so many videos? YouTube. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> that shit is racist, <laughs> though. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Even well, though he was dating Whoopi. Yeah, right, it does not matter. <laughs> What, yes, uh, well, gosh, right. who thought, like, how did he think? I know it's a roast. Right. Like, I know it's a roast, but there's no fucking dude. way. <laughs> dude, anyone. Do they have video of that roast? I, like, also, I just want to know the crowd's reaction when he walked out like that. Like, because he looks serious. Like, he is taking that shit. Like, like, oh, it's, Ted. It's always weird because, like, not only did he do black voice, he, black face, he did the classic white right. right around them. You know, <laughs> right. Like, the old, the, like, big lips. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, style. Andy, you know, minstrel right. show thing. Like, he really drove the racism home, you know? Yeah. <laughs> See, but I, I kinda, don't think he did that. Like cornrows kind of, or some shit. I think like. it's kind of, the, like, that exaggeration is kind of the equivalent of Chappelle's version being so over the top. Right. And I red. mean, I, and I, I can see that part of it, but yeah. like I said, like, with like like uh, Andrew said, blackface has a history behind it so yeah. ridiculous yeah. that it's just like, okay, that's yeah. why I think people get so mad at it. 
but I always wondered how I mean, white, look at that. I always wondered how white people felt about he black just, people doing white face, you know what I mean? Just like Like the movie White Chicks. It's just right. silly. It's exactly. just silly. You know what I mean? What would you do if you saw someone in white face like at a convenience store? Would you talk to them? I would probably would you say laugh. Something? You, <laughs> that shit would be fucking funny. Yeah, though. it's like <laughs> you'd really? be like, actually, I'm an albino black person, so step off, okay? Right. <laughs> That's almost what he looks like. Like all his he eyes, his, like his eyes just person. aren't pink. You he know has what the mean? worst case of vitiligo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Michael Jackson would have been, yeah. <laughs> like a goddamn zombie or some shit. Like, well, in the bow tie too. Look yeah. at the bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> kind of adds comb over. Well, yeah, it's all it's all a thing. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I, I don't know why I asked. Why don't they have spick face? I want brown face. Because I want I people think to would, dress up like Mexicans. I think they just do right y'all's now. voice yeah. and fucking. That's it. Like, just that's be like, enough. hey, what's up, baby? Yeah. Or hey, what, this, yeah, what they say. think your voice. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's the same thing for like if Brian wanted to do. I like say if he had did the black voice, like I could almost picture him doing it. And exactly <laughs> what he was John, saying. You forget you know people I mean? do spick face. They just do their own yard work. <laughs> spick stupid. Yeah, they get dirt all over. Oh, you know, no, got weird. you. It's like <laughs> a little darker. It's like a natural look. It's if, I'd, if I'd have done the the black voice, and it basically I'd have just been doing a Smitty impersonation. Hey, that pretty much. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It yeah. yeah. took ten minutes. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know. I no, mean, I, I, I like, but it was, it was always going to be a Smitty impersonation. But I what is your Smitty impersonation? Because now we're putting, putting yeah, why don't you do a Mikey you gotta, Mays you impersonation? Andrew, imper- Andrew has to Andrew's do a Smitty impression. Smitty impression. Mm-hmm. He's, he's the closest black guy to me. I, oh, okay. A- Andrew does a, 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 a pretty good impersonation of me, even without doing the voice. Yo, just, my name's Smitty Holmes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said Holmes ever <laughs> <laughs> in my life. Like, you know, do you find this like it's like when you talk about like black people, white people, and voices and things like that? Uh-huh. I find it's hard to like spot accents on black people. You know what I mean? Like if mm-hmm. I if like I hear a black person certain, talk, certain letters, like right? like, like like I hear about a certain black people talk. I don't know. I I don't necessarily think oh he's from South or from like. Like the East Coast, I just kind of he, he just kind of sounds different to me, you know. Right. Are you saying he just kind of I mean, sounds black? That, 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 might be, <laughs> that might be for you. Like for me, I can't. Like you know, what I mean, if I see a, a black dude from Chicago, I know certain words that they say. Like dude yeah, from Chicago sounds. say uh, 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 Joe. A lot of ass. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like well, you know, and, and they say like different shit that I wouldn't say down south. You know what I'm saying? And so I can I can tell. Like I say. You know what I'm saying a lot. Uh-huh. I don't know why I do that shit. It mm-hmm. just happens. Yeah. But you know that and fucking black Mike had to tell. He's like, dude, you say that. He shit got a lot. You doing and fucking comedy. Mike, Mike has a lot of that. Oh. Yeah. I mean, but he's that's from a, he's that's from the you Pittsburgh. know Philly. Yeah. You that's know, a whatever the fuck. Thing. And it's just, yeah. And so you can you can tell by like certain Regional words dialect. that you say and shit like that. And I mean, I think it's the same for white people. I can tell, but I I feel what you say. I don't I have. I do white not have a New Mexican accents. accent. I do not. Uh, but you don't have. I don't think you. Uh, don't to me, you don't really have an accent at all. But I bet if I got you outside of this, like we went to the south, I'm sure I'd sound weird. You would sound. Uh, but like I don't, people would hear well, you, and you'd be like, "Where the fuck are you from?" Well, exactly because I don't really follow the regional dialect with a lot of the R's rolling and stuff like that. Because we are in New Mexico, and uh, like a lot of the foods, I'm tortilla, I'm you know carne right. out of But isn't that just a Hispanic sort of accent? Like, yeah, and that's what region we're in. Yeah, but I I was born and <laughs> but raised he, here. He was just you know? saying he don't he don't roll his R's like if you you should like a lot of when locals you say do. carne or whatever. The yeah, fuck. yeah. You just I just it carny. just seems silly. Carne adivati. <laughs> carne. I want some carne adivata. I, I got it from the uh, the New Mexico State Fair. It's carne adivata. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> what do you think about the uh, ESPN reporter guys? <laughs> it's an, uh, it's the, another the broad? yeah it's another case of uh, Andrew likes broad stories right yeah it's another case of um, <clears throat> what happened okay so uh, she was Britt McHenry <clears throat> who is an ESPN reporter uh, and besides that she's got a she, I mean she's really sweet looking I would really really like she's to do a, something she's, dirty to she's her she's kind of a looker. She is, and uh, so this. Ooh, John's uh, got that look in his eye, like he wants to involve a glass table with yeah, this. Yeah, I wonder if she'd like her own podcast. Now, anyway, uh, oh, I see what <laughs> you're No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, ESPN I'll put an end to that one real reporter quick. Reporter <laughs> Britt McHenry uh, was she was exiting a towing company yard, and uh, have you ever had your car towed, Andrew? Uh, yeah. On uh, because of a D W. No, because it broke down. Yeah, it broke, <laughs> it down. broke down. What about you, Brian? Ever had your car towed? 
Uh, uh, because w- of a more, parking or traffic violation? Yeah, more times than I'm happy about. When's the last time? Uh, Tell us about it. It was probably about 10 years ago. Uh, I was living in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I parked just outside of a very popular club. That, uh, But I parked in somebody's parking lot that apparently towed. Is, they, it ex- w- is it an expensive club? It was uh, the sh- one of the shittiest clubs. It was a punk rock club in Vegas surrounded nice. by gay bars. Nice. Yeah, it, it was like not a happy part of town. Prince Albert's either way you look, huh? Yeah. Everywhere. What was the club name? H-I-V-E's? H-I-V-E's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the, the double down if, if you're interested. Yeah. <laughs> so you're parked at uh, one of these gay bars, but you say you're at a different bar. Exactly. And you're... Uh, Damn it, you, you read too much into me. <laughs> <laughs> Your shit gets towed, or did it get booted, or what happened? It got towed, uh, along what, with like three other cars that were parked there. What time was this at night? Uh, it was, was it like, like three, late? three in the morning, probably. Oh, fuck, that sucks. Yeah. So did they, did you, what did you do? You had to wait till the next day to get your car out? Yeah, no, they, you go down to the, you go down to the tow yard, and they're behind bulletproof glass, and have a... Fuck yeah, they really are, especially in Vegas. It. Yep. And uh, you call everybody you know to get enough money to get your shit out of their stupid yard. And uh, how much did it cost? That was about three hundred fifty ten years ago. Did they drive? Is it because I know with uh, some towing companies, or most, what they do is they charge for a flat rate, flat rate, and then they charge you also what you have to like the amount of miles towed. I don't know why I'm looking at Andrew, but I'm talking to Brian. But it's it's very unnerving. <laughs> because but he, I'm just gonna Brian's talk. doing this weird thing, like he's an, a correspondent on the scene, and he's got his hand on his headphone. <laughs> oh, because he this this, 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 it this in earbud his ear. is really super loud. So, oh, I'm just really super loud. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> that was sorry, awesome. that was sorry. excellent. That was solid work. <laughs> solid work, guys. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how you got it out the next day or that night or what? Yeah, I, I was lucky. My uh, one of my, my my little cousin was in town, and it was beginner's luck. She'd won several thousand dollars at the uh, roulette table. So really, I had her loan me a couple of bucks. When does that ever out. happen at roulette, other than on the Leprechaun movie? I don't really fucking know, but it was magical. I'd never seen it happen in my life, and yeah. she was throwing a hundred dollar chips on single numbers and hitting them, and it was Jesus. It was fucking magical. Those odds are ridiculous. So it was a thirty-two to one. Yep. Oh so she God. won. She won like thirty-two hundred twice. Ah. Uh. And it was just I, I, I don't know. I don't. I can't even explain it. I, I, we were gonna go out clubbing that night, and I kept saying, "Okay, let's go." Baby now. seals. Oh the, yes. He needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we ended up getting so so drunk that uh, off their free liquor, and then they gave her a free hotel room that we forgot to use, and uh, it was it was a pretty fun night. Mrs. So Smitty, you ever had your shit towed? Oh my gosh! I've had two cars repoed. When it, oh, that's got to be a good story. Ooh, huh? Tell us about a, a repo story. Uh, give us a repo story. I'll give man. you the one that just happened recently in Atlanta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I've been riding in this car for you know I lost my job and uh, got out of the military in 2010. So or things two, were I tough. 2010, 2013, and uh, so yeah, I couldn't find no work and shit like that. And um, basically, uh, moved to Atlanta. And like I, I'd been in that car for maybe a year, like after losing that job, and like nothing had happened. Like they never came and towed it, like nothing. Yeah. I hadn't paid my, you know, my car note. It was like fucking, you know, just riding in the car, waiting on them to come get it. So when I moved to Atlanta, of course I took the car with me, and uh, when I got down there, uh, I opened a bank account. And that's how they found, I don't know how oh, they, they use that. They traced yeah, but, but I've been changing my address and every, like every place that I lived while I was out here and everything, they just never came and got it. So I'm sitting, matter of fact, I was talking to my ex-wife on the phone. Mm-hmm. And as I'm sitting there talking to her, I see this freaking tow truck roll up. And he rolled up just fast. Just rolled up, backed up into the spot, like backed up under the car real quick and got it jacked because he Look saw me up. outside. So he was just trying to, you know, get yeah. in, get out like without a, without a struggle. And I was just like, this is not happening right now. And I was like, let me call you back. You know what I mean? Cut the hook up the phone. I, had not, I hadn't even unpacked my clothes out of the car yet. Did they let you? I already got, yeah, he let me get all my stuff out. But, I was, you know, I was cool about it. I was like, I yeah. knew, you know, y'all going to get it eventually. But I'm not about to voluntarily give it back. I'm like, shit, I yeah. need a car, goddamn. You know what I mean? So uh, it's a. Uh, you knew it was coming, though. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was coming. So it was just like, because I, I hadn't paid my car note in like four or five, you know, it's shit. It's longer than that. Yeah. Actually. 
I think the last, I think before that, it was probably been, might have been six months before I'd actually paid. You know, the last time I had paid a car note, you know what I'm saying, before they came and got it. But it was just like, yo. Did that ruin your day or were you like, I mean, eh, it did. It whatever. did. But it was like, I knew it was happening. So it was just like, I knew it was coming eventually. I just didn't think it was going to be two days after I got to fucking Georgia. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I was literally without a car as soon as I got there. You know? <laughs> that and so it's just sudden. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm vehicle this now. You know what I mean? But we getting back to it. Is that know? place uh, pretty, like, uh, how's it, the mass transit there? Can you get around the city without a car? Yeah, they just, uh, in the city that I lived in, they uh, they used to have mass transit, like a bus system kind of like this one. Because MARTA is out there. MARTA is like the big bus, and it's it's a bus and a subway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't come to my city because, you know, Clayton or my county because Clayton County is just like, couldn't afford it or it, they just not, they, have they the could funds afford it it was just like, you know fuck Clayton it. County is a bad it's not a great county to live in you know what I'm saying it's a uh, I mean it it is but it's it's the hood there are you know certain parts of it and so basically like the the more affluent towns that might have had Marta didn't want people from our city being able to get to their city <laughs> on the bus yeah. you know what I'm saying they and shit like that they, they, like, they, they wanted to keep people that lived in Clayton County and Clayton County. So uh we had a bus system, our own bus system was called C Tran and uh they cat it for maybe a couple years and they got rid of that shit. Like and so a lot of people lost their jobs. Like you know, just a ridiculous amount of people. Why did lost they do jobs. that? Just cause they, you know, no I, funding I no or idea. are they like I don't this. know if the funding ran out it was just like, yeah, we need to get rid of this bus. So now I guess they just made a vote where they uh, got the bus system back but now they have Marta, so it's, it, they, it integrates with everything. And so, I mean, shit, that first day, somebody called me and told me that first day, they, you know, one of the bus stops was like fucking 50, 60 people sitting at the bus stop, you know what I'm saying? So they getting back into shit it, but it's, 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 the bus system is way better than it is here, but I mean, the city's bigger. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at Georgia's shit. You can fit Albuquerque inside of Riverdale, where I'm from. You know what really? I'm saying? Like, there's probably a million people there, mm-hmm. as opposed to the you know the over you know half a million people that's here. And I live in a small city in Atlanta, uh, in Georgia. So, it is what it is. Are you glad to be away from uh, the summer weather there? I hear it's fucking nah, hot. Nah, man. And I mean, uh, damn yeah, I, shit. yeah. I take that back. I am because it's that fucking humidity, <laughs> that bullshit. But. I don't know if I, I, it's mos- humidity and mosquitoes. Gee, like I, that's why I love it out here because I ain't got to deal with neither one of them motherfuckers. Like, don't go down by the river. I, I mean, I, why would I? Down <laughs> by yeah. the oh, river. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make up that song? I shot my baby. <laughs> Neil Young, you fan nah, of him? Nah. Yeah. But nah, man. Um, <laughs> George is cool, but it's uh, it's still. Let's see the word I want to use because it's not racist. It is racist, but it's not racist. Like everybody hangs with their own. You segregated. Know I mean? Yeah, it's still segregated, but like by choice. It, it, yeah, like yeah. all the black people hang black people. All the white people hang white people. All what about the, the Mexicans? Mexicans? All the Mexicans stick stay with, with the Mexicans. Mexicans. Now we do like like my dad's mechanic. You know, he lived in our neighborhood. He was a Mexican guy. Yeah. Dude was fucking amazing. Like, he pretty much opened his own shop in his house, you know what I mean? And all he would take, like like I said, a six-pack of fucking brew or something like that and get his, you know, my dad could get his cars fixed and shit like that. Cool-ass guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Like, you know, there's pockets of people that will integrate and shit, but mostly, like, I was sitting at the bar. I was sitting at m the other day. It was a white guy beside me, me. Another white guy and a, and, a, and a Native American guy, and we were all having a genuinely pretty good conversation. Yeah, that shit would never happen in Georgia. Do they you know have Native Americans in Georgia? And there are, but mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's few or far between. Like you'd be hard pressed to find them. Are they as drunk as the New Mexico Native Americans? I, I have no idea. I never met <laughs> one racist. out there. Like for real, I never <laughs> I met a, a Native American like a true Native American until I moved here. You really? I mean? Yeah. And if I did, I didn't know they were Native. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, look, like it must be uh, they look dot Mexican. It was like I said. It wasn't until I got here where I could tell the difference <laughs> between Mexicans and natives. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. But I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. Mexican Mexicans usually have shorter shit. hair. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I might say. I don't know, man. But nah, now I could like I could literally, you know, I could see them and just be like, yeah, they're native. You know what I mean? And you can see, you know, it's it's easier. Not that I'm uh, 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 accustomed to it. 
<laughs> Do they have like Asians and stuff? Yeah, like? yeah. It's a fucking huge as uh, Asian population in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the more you know. <laughs> I mean, are there there are lots of uh, are there Jews there? there mm-hmm. Lots of Jews. There's a lot of white people, <laughs> but there's a lot of this too. You know, say there's a lot of black people. So it's like you you have to. That's going to be your two biggest populations is white and black. You know, so you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to deal with. It's just certain parts of town. Like, there's parts of, there's parts of Georgia I still won't go to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not scared to. Like, they told me when I first got here, they were like, stay away from the war zone. Don't go to the South Valley, whoever the fuck. I've been to both and never had an issue. You know what I'm saying? And I'll go gladly. Like, I don't give a fuck. Out in Georgia, there are still towns that I won't go to to this day. Like, no. Like, yeah, I had a, I had a girlfriend that lived in fucking Bankhead. And, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Would you I would ever have her meet me halfway. Yeah. Like I, like she would have to meet me outside of that bitch. It was like, no, I'm not going into. She like, ever yeah, try and lure you to Bankhead with head? Nah, no. Nah, like, she knew what wouldn't happen. Like, bitch, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> head is not worth my life. Like, <laughs> and it was some pretty good head like, too. Head it probably was, but it wasn't worth my life. Like, fuck that shit. I'm not. No, I'm not going out there. Uh, be fucked up. Yeah. So it's like, um, so like out there, uh, is there? I guess um, oh, Fuck I don't know What I was gonna say Fuck that Yeah, yeah. Thanks Alan Thanks Very boo uh, How do you guys feel About bullying Alan do you wanna do The bullying sound clips The what The bullying sound clips You were on this For some reason The towing Oh yeah The towing Oh yeah The Brit I do, We bullying. never finish that We never So she kind of bullying She kind of bullied The uh, attendant She uh, As she's driving out Oh there we have the video Okay yeah. cool Well let's just go ahead And show it's it completely reasonable Yeah I'm in the news, sweetheart. That's I will fucking sue this place. Okay, that's fine. Right. And I'll play your video, so careful. I'll play the video. Pause, pause. pause. <laughs> so, like, as soon as she starts to get uppity with the uh, with the uh, a parking attendant or the uh, the lot operator, right. the the lady tells her straight off the bat. She's like, I, I have your video, and I'll play your video. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's right. telling her, basically. Well, like, I will ruin your career, bitch. All she's doing is saying she's that being a cunt. they're being scumbags for towing. Like, most tow companies, like you guys have been saying, are pretty much scumbags. So how is it shocking that somebody is dissatisfied when their car gets towed? Well, I can understand. Just because they're in the media and in ESPN, a sports thing where people are supposed to be, ooh, I love sports, everything's sports, 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 yet mm-hmm. they can't deal with someone complaining about a fucking towing company? They're yeah. a Disney company. But, company. Well, she also, but, like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go well, ahead. Well, it just seems like she's also, like, like... I guess you know prima donna. Yeah, like and that's that. like, well, I was like I'm say. in the news. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. She's an you asshole, but <laughs> you don't. She's not an asshole that needs to like lose her career over no. being an asshole. She don't. Now they well they reinstated her. If that's there were the people thing. You, losing careers over being assholes. I wouldn't have had a job for fucking twenty dude, years. But here's the thing: once you become famous, like we're all comics in here. I mean, I don't know what the fuck he does. <laughs> Dubstep. <laughs> yeah. Dubstep. But uh, we're all comics here. <laughs> If any of us get famous, you know what I'm saying, there there is a certain you know there's 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 something that comes stigma with it that comes with that shit. You know what I'm saying? You have to know what, you what you're doing. Say. Yeah, what you can and can't say at all times, man. Until you get on the mic on the stage where you can say whatever the fuck you want and then you know you have to deal with the consequences. Once you're on the street, man, like like you said, you can go around, you can be the coolest motherfucking comic in the world until somebody catch you on the street yelling nigga eight hundred <laughs> times <laughs> and then now you're a fucking racist. You know what I'm saying? And you lose I your like shit. It's like, Andrew while he says that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I think Andrew, like like I said, Andrew Andrew has I'll one make of, a note of that. <laughs> Andrew, if, I, if I become famous though. So, uh, right. For now, I'm going for crazy. Now, Andrew's now fucking yelling that word. Oh, yeah. Andrew's <laughs> fucking rapping nigga joke to me is like, yeah, I'll go to your that area of Atlanta and just. <laughs> it's go, fucking go. hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Like that joke to me is fucking hilarious. You know what I'm saying? But then I, I, at the same time, I had an issue with 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 uh, uh, Munoz's fucking nigga joke. Oh, yeah. But that was I just, don't know if I would call that a joke. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like to me, it wasn't. It was and everybody got mad at me because I was mad. I was like, how can you tell me I can't get mad? At well, this what shit? was his was his joke like? Yeah. I don't. I have this black. I said, no, 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 no. And and when I look back at the joke, it it was like I could see exactly where he was trying to take it, where he was going. So I'm not mad about it, like not by no means now. But at the time, it was just like it felt like to me, like he was just on stage wanting to say nigga yeah. eight times. You know what I'm saying? Was that was the joke when he talked about his girl's like friend? Like he had, oh yeah, I have this. 
I don't know if you want to call it African American or black. I, I think what he said, I can't remember well, how it goes. We got it to this one of the last times. I was, this has happened already before. I don't yeah. want to get back into it. But, you know what I'm saying? I think he said something like, you know, uh, uh, he calls his white friends niggas You know what I'm saying And so he be like You're my nigga You're my nigga You're my nigga And then he got to the black guy And he, oh, yeah. he didn't say that. It was something like that You know what I mean But it was just like I don't even think I don't know well, To me think- it, Like the shit wasn't necessary But like now that I look back at it, I, like I see the structure of the joke and what he was trying to do. And it's like to me, it's like, it's it's funny. You know what I mean? I see what he was just trying to turn the, you know, the turn the page on there. Like I didn't do the joke justice at all just now, but you know what I mean? Well, it's I don't know. Well, with those jokes, I mean, if you if there's like a, a point of view behind it, mm-hmm. and there's like it's it's you know, and there you, it's part of a if it's a, if it's part of something, then you can. I think it's okay to say like it, like I said like with you. Putting when you say empathy, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit. Well, it's not makes racial. The joke, you know? you know what I'm saying? Like that made the joke, like because of how you were talking about like rappers and shit like that. Like that's what they say, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And so it was like, I, I, I see where you were coming from on that shit, but I don't know. Yeah. It's weird, man. Well, but, I think if you're saying it just to be like gratuitous and just to be, like be happy right, about how edgy right, you are, then right, it's kind of exactly. Whatever, yeah, you know? it's, it's kind of hacky a little yeah. bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you guys want to finish? We, we only got two seconds into the video. Yeah. Oh, we did. <laughs> I, my bad. I don't even know how we got to this part. Man. My bad. Okay. Go ahead. She says, okay, that's fine. And I'll play your video, so careful. She I'll looked up at the lady and was like, oh, yeah? And she, that's what she says. she wouldn't work at what? See, but this is all reasonable. Right? Yeah. Why is it reasonable to personally attack the attendant who had nothing to do with where you parked or your shit getting towed? Is that, how is that reasonable? Because that's my thing. How did, where where ah, she parked that to where her They do is. represent the company, as does she yeah, represents she ESPN. She's Every not, time she's, she's on the fucking working. camera. She's not working right now. I, In this video, uh, she's not working. No. They are. But God, I Everyone hate Everyone has to deal with complaints of one But because sort of she player. is... Her face she's is what she's famous. selling. She's on the on the on the TV on the yeah. television because she's a real piece of ass. Okay, so like, then she's not selling her. She's got a degree whatsoever. too. So then, why is anybody shocked that she goes off when she gets her car towed? I'm she's not shocked. Piece. She's not a brain. The, yes, she may have a degree, but it's clearly not up to everyone else's body temperature. Yes, but would you want your company, a family company owned by Disney, a family company, a family to be company a s- that makes money? off of people getting concussions on a daily basis to be a, yeah but that's that's kind of like under the rug no, they're not going to bring that up uh, I, I side with Alan on this because kind of because like I mean if, if, if she was mean to like the Taco Bell guy or something like that or like the, or like would have been the same shit like, she's a no, she's a cunt no but like she I mean she get her, her vehicles getting towed no one's really you know in a you know polite mood when that happens sometimes like I draw blood at places and people go like man you guys really screwed me over even though it wasn't me who did anything right. and you just I kind d- of accept it I understand like, what you're you saying I understand what y'all saying is just the fact that you know she's disgruntled a little bit mm-hmm. and she has a right to complain or whatever because I mean she is still a person yeah. Regardless, you know what I mean. But at the same time, like you said, I think she's getting mad at the wrong person. Like the attendant didn't tell the motherfuckers to go get her car. She didn't do none of that. She was like, "Look, this is what you got to do. Excuse me to get your fucking car back." <laughs> you know what I mean? I did just burn right into the mic. <laughs> you know it's okay, it's Allen's. I saw it. But um, it was beer burp. It's cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know, man. I see both sides of it. I think she just could have, you know, it, it's it's you 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 catch bees with honey, man. Like you know, what I'm saying catch more bees with honey. What is that? Know? This basically, I don't if you're if, the metaphor. Basically, if you're if Be you're nice. if you're nicer. Yeah, you usually get shit done a lot easier than it would be, you know. Yeah, like if she had went in there, it was like, cool, okay, how much is it gonna cost? You know, I I didn't mean to park there. So, I mean, just explain the situation. Uh. Something might have happened a little better. They might have been like, okay, I don't know. It just fucking hard. <laughs> she offered a blowjob. Yeah, I would, and she does that. That video is not very flattering. I don't it? care. I would totally. I would tear her apart, man. She is real. Would you POA. come in her bun? Yes, definitely, multiple like, times. Yeah, bun come. and I have video of this. You know. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so her punishment should be going on a date with Juan Cuellar, is what I believe should be happening. I know, huh? Uh, so we've, uh, I guess, yeah, we're done with this. That's broad.
Uh, she's hot, but she's she a cunt. is. She is, but uh, you know, I, I just, I, say, I just say, hate that this whole conversation has made me sort of defend her almost. Yeah, but I mean, how was she? I, the I, I really, today? really don't like her. <laughs> but but I, but but I found myself like defending her just now, and, I, and nah, that upsets me a little bit. I feel what y'all saying. Like y'all, y'all both have y'all all three. Of y'all have valid ass points, but you know, it's saying it's, it's, it's. I mean, it's it's so far away from that whole Taco Bell thing where if you're complaining at somebody who's giving you food that you ordered, yeah. you're not ordering your car to be towed. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those things where well, it's obviously really she parked in the obvi- wrong fucking spot, Alan. Yeah, yeah, but when people are people going to be people fucking responsible for hey, their actions? Hey. Cock? People don't deal with conflict well, clearly. <laughs> But look, but I mean, I, I, Plus, say you for don't instance, know the circumstances that, the either. The day that I got, you know, when I got my car fucking repo, I was cool about the shit, and the dude was like, okay, normally, they just take your shit, they don't let you fucking touch exactly. it. Exactly. Like, that dude gave me my keys back, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, like, I, well, he, he didn't have my keys, I had my keys, but he was like, yo, you can go in there, get all your shit, you know what I'm saying, clean the car out if you need to. Like, he sat there and took his time because I was nice about it, and then he was like, yo, are you planning to get this car back because we'll hold it for you? If you plan to pay the money to, you know, say get it back or whatever. Yeah. And I was just like, nah, like I ain't got that kind of bread. Like he worked with me, yeah. like, trying to work with me. He even called the damn uh, DMV to find out how much registering my car would be. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. shit like that. Like he was actually being nice because I wasn't belligerent like most people get when your car fucking getting repoed. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you see on the little repo wars or whatever little shows right. that they have. But- so I think, yeah, like I said, you, you, if, you don't have to be nice all the time because, I mean, like I said, we all human, but... Yo, like you can't go into every situation just irate as fuck because you're not gonna get, you know, right, what you but want. you don't and know I'll... the circumstances of this thing either, though. I don't. When, when my car got towed, it got towed like that. That got towed out of the parking lot. They had one sign that was behind a tree that had been beat up that was curved around the side that said no parking here. But did you know? So and you so, so you didn't hot. know that you couldn't park there. I did not know. So, that was your first time parking there. Ever? Well, if you now didn't know, parking. now you know. <laughs> I, I, I should have been clued in by the fact that there was plenty of parking there and it was a really popular area. Hey, I'm just saying. But context clues. Yeah, you know, but but if, if you see something too good to be true, like a parking space <laughs> with no other cars right. around. <laughs> Yep. I think part of it also but, too is like, uh, like she's on the news and she's on TV, so she's not used to like poor stuff happening to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never had to deal with I've never had my with car. brown people problems, <laughs> yeah, and exactly. suddenly it's confronted her right, right in the I'm face. On ESPN. This is not, not, like I got my car towed. Why? But I'm white. Car, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get our car. It doesn't so. happen to us. But I'm, I'm white. I'm white on TV. <laughs> Oh, like shit. outside of Brian, have you had a, have you had a car towed, Alan? Uh, no. Have I've you ever booted. had your car towed? You've had you've been booted. Yeah. I've never been booted before. What's that like? It's, Fuck. Uh, I mean, they they boot your car and you can't drive, so you got to pay it. And it's like, do they show up that night cash. when you call them? What? And do they show up that cash? night to it unboot? Was, it was five minutes. I went in to go get some food somewhere, and it's over by U and M, where they're really pati- shut up, Cameron. Paracos. Where they're really. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, yeah, where they're really particular about who parks in whose parking lot. Yeah. And I went into the one that was one over from the place I was going, and I came back five minutes later, had a boot on my truck. Booted. Yeah. Do you think they watched so you I get have, out of your car, and they're like, exactly this they fucker. Stay in the restaurant. <laughs> they stay in the restaurant and wait. Oh. It's fucking bullshit. My car was also did the same thing at Paracos. I had to pay $60 really? for some fat Mexican to come out and unlock the Hey, t- well, fuck. I mean, what do you I'm I mean, trying to lose weight. I Jesus. Mean, my <laughs> argument about it was slightly different than this lady's. I was like, I'm a dropout. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm a dropout. You, you're better than me. You should be helping me. And it didn't work. It did not work. No, it did not. That's because you're white. Shut but up. You probably, you probably still, did you say it in that same tone? Well, you just like you should be helping me, motherfucker. Like sure. you just say, motherfucker. Sure did. Uh, okay, what about this? What if, uh, what if the attendant is a dude? Do you think she's a little bit nicer to him, and maybe he's a little bit nicer to, to her people. because she's fucking yeah. smoking? You damn right. Yeah, it's gonna be. De- I every, mean, every that's, uh, I don't know. See, because I don't want to. I don't, don't want to be on the next it. episode of Boozy Feminism or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's a shout out. Um, yeah, the boozy they feminism. probably have more views than us, Alan. Sarah Bowery, <laughs> throw <Genevieve>. stones. <laughs> uh, but nah, man. I mean, like, yeah, it's gonna be different, man. I don't, I don't care what you say. Like, it, yeah, it might be feminism, it might be whatever. But there are distinct differences between us outside of the shit that's between our fucking legs. You know well, what I'm saying? And, and like, we're stronger. 
<laughs> More upper body strength. So glad you have this type of mic that might not have caught that. But and, <laughs> I want them to think. And I then said also, that. like if it was with a guy though, and she was mean to him. There's nothing worse than a hot chick, like smoking hot like this, with Mad a attitude. fucking cunty attitude. Yeah. That makes you hate them twice as much, dude. If they're, like, really good looking, but like her, they, like, know it, yeah. and they know that they have a certain privilege that kind of is comes with it, mm -hmm. you're just like, ugh. I realize you have that privilege, too, but you don't got to call it out, man. Right, Shit. right, right, right. Like, we all notice it. I know you're hot. You know what Unless I mean? Unless it's like, don't, blowjobs don't blow all the way around, too. then... But I don't know, man. The noise in case no skills. Oh, oh fuck! See, oh, that's that. That see, she crossed the line that's right what there. I'm <laughs> she talk about her teeth. Oh, that's what I'm saying. How can you protect this chick, yo? That, like, I don't bitch. like her anymore. I was defending her before. She's a she's a cunt. She's I don't like bitch, her. See? No, she definitely is. But maybe I, I, I still don't some, think you should like fucking lose your job over teeth? shit. Come on, man. That, the parking attendant had nothing to do with that shit. <laughs> Lose some weight, baby girl. All right. Uh, wow. So uh, she's a cunt, but she's oh, awesome. Yeah, she is a cunt. That music means it's the end of the show, folks. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and go go around, do some Plagola. Andrew, where can people see you next? I'm where will you be? I'm performing tonight at Turtle oh, Mountain. Oh, shit. We should have talked about that a little bit. Yeah, Turtle Mountain. That's a good spot yeah. they uh, started doing. Yeah, at like 8. So, yeah, 8 o'clock? How much does that cost? Oh, seeing me perform. That's <laughs> <You're life>. <laughs> <laughs> Come out, see Andrew Harms. Uh, Turtle Mountain, he'll be there with uh, AJ and Jason? I don't know. Eddie's putting the thing on. Okay, well. Uh, come see Andrew Harms. He doesn't give a fuck about anything except for stage time and killing yeah, it, right? Damn right? Nice. Yeah, nice. And, and also, uh, and also, ladies. And ladies. I care about them. Okay. But I don't, you know. But not if they get their shit towed. Yeah, then I'm you're on your own. <laughs> uh, Brian, you're doing a show booked by a, a very handsome uh, young promoter who smashes all kinds of vaginas. That's what uh, I've heard. By the name that of John Quayar. Uh, you'll be at the uh, Cool Water show tonight. That's correct. Uh, doing a short set there. Uh, anything else coming up? You got another place people can check you out? Uh, not currently. So tonight at Cool Water at 9.30, <laughs> people will come out to see you, Brian Vanderhoof. Boom! Lay the funny down, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Smitty, you will also uh, be at Cool Water Fusion, I yes? I will be at Cool Water Fusion. Hello. <laughs> Buck, buck. Got buck on them hoes. Uh, um, cool. Yeah, I'll be at Cool Water tonight. Uh, check, check me out. My boy Corey, uh, Corey Griffith, motherfucking. Uh, Corey gonna be there, right? Yeah, Corey's gonna, gonna be there. Okay, I'll just make sure I wasn't prepping for nothing. And um, then what else you my, got my coming up, Brandon? Smitty. Brian Vanderhoof. Um, I am actually next Saturday at Cool Water as well. No oh, shit. I don't know how the fuck that shit happened, but I got booked twice. People want you to spot. work for them. Shit. I love it. Um, next month. Uh, I, I'll be back at uh, third Thursday. Oh shit, we didn't even talk about that. You went over time and you Yo, got disqualified. I did. I, I, I was. I was because they were eating it up, right? See, here's the thing. I did win the contest. Like I want this shit on record. I won that <laughs> bitch hands down. Like I don't give Burn a fuck. Square. I mean, I ain't trying to put nothing over on fucking Mikey Mays and nothing like that. But yeah. I did win the contest. It's just the simple fact that I went over. Was it? And so was. Did you go over because you were having such a good? I, 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 yeah. I, I basically, I was. Well, yeah, when something's it was, it was really that, good, you just don't want it, was it to one, end. It was you just want to keep it going. Was that and the fact that Rusty, Rusty was, Rusty was sitting in the middle. My bad. No, no, no fuck it. Keep going. Fucking Rusty was sitting in the midst of people taking pictures and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And fucking, uh, uh, and so when he gave me the light, I didn't know. Yeah. He walked up to the stage and showed me the light, and I thought I was good still. Yeah. But that's no fault of his own. He did the right thing and he disqualified me. So it, it were you? Good. I know you weren't mad at him, but were you no, upset at yourself? I was upset at myself. Man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but yeah. Well, next, the, next month, third Thursday, check my fuck out because I'm gonna win that bitch. Fuck that shit. I'm on, I'm, Are you? I'm, I'm, well, I'm the white man's ahead. telling us it's time to end the uh, radio show. <laughs> the white man's in control because he owns the equipment. Alan, is that so unfair? <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all used to do two hours on the fucking on Saturdays. We shortened it. We shortened it. For what? Always leave them wanting more. Us. Us, yeah. <laughs> what y'all got to do? What do you have to do? Less preparation. Yes. 
prep for what? Yeah. It's you know what? It's nice when we have guests that come in that carry conversation. There's a natural exactly. flow. But going, not every Saturday <laughs> is like that. There have been plenty of Saturday shows where we try and dig in for two hours and but we're like, fuck. Well, well, goddamn shorten those shows. This one was going good. It was. It was. Anyway. Thanks to everybody. Uh, Andrew Harm, Brian Wait, Vander. Am I a cool water? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, yeah. Alan's going to be oh, a cool what water. What am I doing? You never told me. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out tonight. Ah, You're going to do some MC this work. Show, this show is packed, though. It's going right? to be packed. Like, yeah. like, it usually it's only like three to four comics. There's going to be Caitlin Minton. Marty Adam Smith is going to be there. Um, some other up. guy. Yeah, some other guy. Yeah. Alan Clark, he'll be there. We didn't even talk about his 15 minute spot. Oh, yeah. And what the fuck he was doing taking a 15 minute oh, spot. Fuck. I killed it. Fuck Did you. <laughs> was it good? Was it good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's good. But sometimes, you know what? As a comic, you have to say, yes, I can do that, even though you've never fucking done it before. Exactly. Stage pig. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>